Hey guys, so today I just wanted to touch base with you all on are you a hobby coach or are you a full time, go all in, part time, go all in beach body coach? So there is a difference between hobby coach and part time coach, just as there is as a hobby coach and full time working beach body coach. So, your goals are your goals. No one's going to put any goals on you. You are going to have your own goals, and that is what you need to totally go for. So, what I want to talk about is are you taking action for what your goal is? Because I know there are a lot of coaches, not necessarily on our team, but there are a lot of coaches that say they want a part-time income, they want a full-time income, but their actions are showing hobby coach. So just a few things of what a hobby coach is. I'm going to talk to you about that, and hopefully you can see what actions you are or are not taking to make sure that you are going in the right direction towards your goals and success. So there's been some coaches that quit working the business um, or quit their consistency because they have a lot going on or because this just isn't the right time. So they're going to take a little bit of time off to finish something else and then they'll get back to it. In the meantime, people don't realize when you stop that consistency, your audience sees that. Um, people want to go to coaches who are consistent because they want to know that they can trust you in the long run with their health and fitness goals. They want to know that you're going to be there for them in the long run and you're not just going to bail on them because you have something else going on in their, in your life. Um, you know, for instance, for me, um, I may not be checking in as much, but I'm still checking in. I'm still posting three to five times a day. Yeah. I three times a day. I don't check in five times a day. Um, but you will know I have stuff going on. I'm sharing it on Facebook and that may be something that's scary for you because you are more personal and you don't want to share stuff. But for me, this is my business, not my hobby. So in order for people to relate to me, I have to share what's going on in my life because that's where my audience comes in. That's where people are going to build that rapport with me. That's where people are going to trust me that although I have a lot going on, I'm not like not on Facebook. I'm not, not there. I'm here, um, still posting, but just not, you know, completely there with, you know, posting about my challengers and stuff like that, but I'm still posting. I'm still present. I'm still showing that I'm here because if you don't do that, you're your coaches or potential challengers or whatever they are, they have to build that trust in you and they have to believe that you are going to be there for them in the long run. So that's where you being present everywhere is going to be important. So whenever we use excuses, you know, I have too much going on, I don't have time, you have to think about this. If this were your other job, you know, your full-time career, um, what you went to college for or whatever it may be. If you have stuff going on, would you tell them, Hey guys, sorry, I'm not going to come in for like a week or two because I got too much stuff going on. Or, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to do my job because I have, I have stuff going on and it's really hard for me emotionally. It's hard for me physically. No guys, you're not going to do that. This is a job. This is your J O B and you need to make it your job. If you are not checking in, being present and treating it like a career, you're not treating it like a full-time income, like you've invested a million dollars, you're not going to get that out, okay? So if you came in here and you say, I want a six-figure income, or I wanna make $1,000 a week, you can do that, but you have to treat it as if it were a six figure income job. You have to check in just like you would check in with your boss at your other job, okay? If you are not doing that, this is simply a hobby to you. And until you can show otherwise, that's what I truly believe. I'm giving you a little bit of tough love just because we all have stuff going on in our lives, all right? I said it, I've put myself out there. You guys all probably know about it and you're probably like, okay, stop talking about it. But guys, I'm just showing you, it's okay. Like, 
we've seen coaches go through cancer and they still made it happen. Me going through a divorce. My office is empty. I'm closing on my house in about an hour and a half. I have 20 minutes to go do my walkthrough. Guess what, guys? I'm still showing up. Yeah, I'm stressed, but guess what? This is my freaking job, and I have a goal to support my kids and to make income, so I have no choice. When you make it that you have no other choice but to just do it, you're going to make it happen no matter how busy you are, no matter, no matter how many excuses you can have, you will make it happen. And that hobby will no longer be a hobby. That hobby is going to be your full-time career that you love and that is successful to you. All right, now I got to go. So I hope that you got something out of this. Guys, have a great day. Have an amazing week. I am not checking out. I'm going to be checking in. So don't think I'm going anywhere. Um, hang in there with me, please. Guys, just please help each other during this week. If I cannot comment on something right away or if I'm not available I'm moving all week long pretty much by myself um, so bear with me I will get to you guys um, thank you thank you thank you thank you for everything thank you for your support thank you for being an amazing team that is exactly why I love you guys and you better not go anywhere because I'm not going anywhere all right guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon